Hi all, I wanted to create a video here. The subject is, how do we get UVs? How do we get texture coordinates on the surface of our subtool? And more importantly, why would we be bothering to do this? We're doing this because we want to export our poly painting out of ZBrush and into Photoshop and make it a game texture. So if I were to title this video I'm making here, it's making game textures by exporting our poly painting. All right, so let's get started here. We want to go to the lowest subdivision of our subtools. And I'm working on this head here, so I will just um, slide this down here to level one. Let the software catch up. So there's our level one head. And now I'm going to go up here to export. Call it head no UVs. And we've got the geometry exported as an OBJ. Let's go to 3 Studio Max. Here's an old one I was fooling with. I'll just delete that and import the one that I just saved. Import non-native file format, head no UVs. Okay? And a quick comment here about these settings. If sometimes I've seen this default when I sit down to a new computer and I do this, um, it sometimes gives me this. I know we do not want to retriangulate our polygons. We do not want to alter the vertice index. So make sure you uncheck that and import as edible poly. And we don't have any UV, so if that's checked, turn it off. And we can bring in the normals. That's fine. And hit import. Okay, so here's our model. And now um, I'm going to apply the unwrap UVW modifier right here. And notice I've got this already set up in my my tool my semi-custom tools here. Let me delete that. And I can go here and click this button. Uh, I can configure my modifier sets. If I hit this, I can drag over any um, modifier into these eight, eight spots here. I can tell it how many spots I want. And I've already got Unwrap UVW set up there. Alright, so click that. Let's go look at what we've got. And we've got a big mess. There's nothing. There's no usable UVs on there, right? So I'll, I'll move that out of the zero one space. And now let's talk about kind of my mentality, how I, how I UV stuff. A lot of people use Hedis and uh, uh, that's UV layout. A lot of people use UV master. They use a lot of kind of, I guess you could say at the, at the date 2012, um, these are kind of standard industry tools. But if you don't have those, um, Pelt and Relax that comes default with Max works really well and it's fairly fast. So um, let's go back to the editor here and I want to show you my mentality and my process for UV unwrapping quickly. So first off, let me um, open this up and go to Face. I'm going to select half of the head like that. Let's go grab stuff I missed. And I likely have Ignore Back Facing on. Yeah, I do. So let's turn that off and grab the half of the head that I want. Okay, so there's the half. And what I want to do is just crack off pieces of this mess right here and, and then pelt and relax them and then stitch them back together um, once all the distortion is removed. And uh, if I, I, now that I've got the selection, I can just press quick planar map and notice that breaks it off and puts it in the zero one space. I'm not entirely sure that I've got a good, yeah, look, I missed a polygon there. So look, here's how I can fix that. I'll just hold the control button down, grab that. Let's make sure I'm not missing anything else in here. Not sure about these polygons. I think that's the mouth bag area. So now, look, I've got this polygon here. I'll just hit quick planar map again. That picks it up. And um, now I'm going to just select the cranium part. There's that. I want to get all this stuff I'm just getting the upper half of the head. 
like that, all right? And then I'll hit Quick Planar Map again. That cracks it off. Then I'll grab the neck area, like that. Maybe I'll hit Grow once to go up, okay? Not worried about that half. Hit quick planar map, that snaps it off. And now I've got this cranium piece, this neck piece, and then everything in the middle, and then whatever that is. That's just this random that goes back down here. So three pieces. Why don't I crack off the ear here just to make life simpler? You might be asking yourself, well, why am I doing this? Why am I bothering? And the answer is, I want to give the software the easiest solution to solve. And, and I do that by doing multiple pieces of a complex object rather than having it expecting success on one big head. Okay, so there's the ear. Uh, let me hit quick planar map, get that off. So I've got cranium, top of the cranium, neck, ear, and then everything in between in the middle there. Okay, so I'm going to press this pelt button over here. It looks like a little rodent stretched out. There's the stretcher, hit start pelt. Gives me kind of a, a funky shape there. Commit, go to tools, relax face angles, start, okay, and so it churned out a little bit there, grab the top of the cranium, pelt, start, commit, go tools, relax, face angles, and let's grab that ear. I don't even think I need to pelt it, but I will anyway. There. Relax. When you see this spinning around, that means the software is kind of in, dare I say, a recursive loop here. It doesn't really know when to stop, so I'll stop for it. And uh, it's okay. Uh, the whole goal here is to get the UVs, get the distortion out of the UVs. And it's close. And we can see that by going here, this checker pattern, clicking on that, and you can see whether or not these squares come out twisted or not. And for the most part, it's a little bit of wobble in there. For the most part, they're rock solid. Look at this mess right in here. We'll fix that in a sec. All right, so let's do the neck. Here they are. You can see how stretched they are right here. Grab that, pelt, start pelt. and then by face angles there and now let's go look and see those squares again there's no there's no distortion so that's good all right now what am, what am i going to do with these these independent shells i've got let's just kind of get them in the ballpark there that okay so i'm going to stitch this together real fast semi-fast I'm just going to vertex mode here by clicking there. I'm going to turn on my show vertex connections so that when I select a vertex and I don't have by element on, it tells me exactly where that thing should be welded to. So let's go tools, target weld, and just click and drag. And I know that I'm incorporating distortion when I'm sliding these things. But that's okay, because I'm going to come back and do relax again. Okay, so can jump around here a little bit. If this grid is bothering you here, let's go to um, options, preferences, and tone down the brightness here. I'll make 0.25. That's a little bit easier on the eyes. And then let's go target weld that and the vertex connections I think is handy it's just kind of 
gives me a visual cue as to where the stuff has to go. Let's zoom in and get that right. If you've ever modeled geometry poorly, maybe internal faces or vertices aren't welded, this is where you discover what an excellent or what a crappy modeler you are. And this kind of forces you to go and clean that stuff up. So if you have really confusing UV shells that aren't making any sense and, and it, doesn't, it isn't obvious what, what welds to what, it's because of the way you modeled it. So just got to model cleanly. All right, so we've got a lot of distortion in here. Got some mess here. A lot of distortion in here. Let's just grab these areas like all of that and hit tools, relax, face angles. Okay, that clean that up. I still need to weld that together. Let's grab all these. I clean that up. And if I grab this and and run it, it's going to not really give me the best result because I don't have the other side of the face stitched on. That's coming. So let me go back to vertex and real quickly get the back side of the head here that goes there okay so grab these polygons relax and what happens if I just grab this whole thing and run it okay so very little distortion let's look at the distortion apply that. How are we doing here? Still messy in here, but all, everything else is rock solid. It's going to be very little distortion. What I paint is what I'm going to get, and that's the goal. Okay, Distortion for UVs. So then, hey, let's go get that ear. Blah, blah, blah. So you know in those cooking shows, the chef fast forwards three hours, everything's cooked, everything looks beautiful. That's what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to close this let's just I'm going to load the, some UVs that I made earlier before I started this video there they are let's go look at what I did here it is it's finished mmm smells delicious so there's the UV shell I'll go to this preferences and tone that down again if you want those to stick um, do options, save current settings as default. That's what I should have done a minute ago. All right, so here's the UV set. I'm going to close that, collapse all, and now let's export. Selected. Head with UVs. And this is really important. Make sure you've got texture coordinates turned on do not do normals don't alter those because that's a great way to get that checkerboard or broken U uv problem so just texture coordinates polygons and flip yz axis don't optimize anything don't write a log don't bring any materials in if you don't want to export done and let's go back to zbrush okay here in zbrush i need to be on the lowest subdivision i already was because i exported the lowest and I'm going to hit the import button, head with UVs, okay, and it gave me an error saying mismatch points order and auto corrected. Well, I didn't really weld any vertices or do anything, so um, I'm confident that it worked. Let's go to geometry and slide up the subdivisions and, and let it catch up. And there it is. We didn't lose any sculpture. That's great. Let's go down to um, UV map, and by virtue of this thing not being ghosted, that means you've got something to delete. Let's look at the UVs. We can go to texture map and press new from UV map, and there it is. It, 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 it shows you that you've got UVs, and it's, they're exactly the way that we just imported them a minute ago. Okay, so congratulations. We've got UVs on our sub tool. Um, now what I want to do is talk about how to export the poly painting you've done out of ZBrush 
in Intimax, sorry, not Intimax, into Photoshop. And that's going to be the title of my next video. So keep watching. Thank you very much.